Hey guys, it's me again. Happy Saturday. So you're going to get three vlogs that I shot on Saturday um, going live in a row because I'm sticking to my, my promise to make all videos. I'd like to say 10 minutes or below, but I think my last one was 11 minutes, so forgive me. But here's, I'm getting to my point. Last time I talked about, the first uh, video I shot today, I talked a little bit about some of the products that you guys had asked me about. Second video I shot, I started talking about my point, which is um, using f failure as your fuel. Because as I mentioned in that, and I'm, I'm just going to make this one as brief as possible. You know, this week when I got on the scale two days in a row, the first day I was up two pounds, I was at 142. And then the next day I was up to 144. Two days. In two days, I gained, I supposedly gained four pounds. Okay. Now some of you might go, why do you weigh yourself every day? Some of you might say, um, well, you know, the scale can fluctuate, whatever it is. I was saying in my last video, I, I do not look at the scale. First of all, it doesn't bother me the way it is. It annoys me as hell. <laughs> it annoys the hell out of me because I was just like, yeah! you know, I'm at 140, I've lost 15 pounds. Ah! And then all of a sudden it's like, really? You're going to do this to me? Seriously? Um, I refuse to give into this. And, and as I got up this morning and my mental, my mental capacity, my mental attitude was saying, you know what, you know, you're, you're feeling not, you know, you're, you're feeling flabby and, and whatever. Why don't you just take today off? And I mean, it was that devil inside of me that was like, screw you. And it, that's the same devil that's just trying to get you to not accomplish your goals. Okay. I was really feeling like there was part of me that's like, forget this. I'm going to start off really. And it was the whole Monday attitude of like, I'm going to start off really hard on Monday. I've got new stuff and I'm going to talk about that in a second. Michael and I are going to work on a new cooking program. We're going to work on a new weight training program, blah, 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 blah. And I had this attitude of like, let's just take three days off and screw that. No, I'm going to use my disappointment or this, you know, little sidestep or for whatever reason that that scale, now it was down a pound today, um, was, has gone up four pounds in two days. Now it's down a pound. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure that it's going to go back down. I'm sure whatever. Use that as your fuel instead of using that as an excuse or a reason to get down on yourself, to put yourself back, you know, four steps. Because I can tell you what, I did that for two years. I let myself take, it was like, and really you have to be honest and realize that that's, that's you looking for a reason to give up. That's you looking for an easy way out. Okay. When you have stuff like that and you're like, well, see, forget it. It can't, I can't lose weight. I might as well just give up. Really? Do you think, do, do you really think that eating better and staying active? I mean, I'm 44. I can do, I'm in better shape as far as like my heart and my ability to go run away from a stranger if I was getting robbed or whatever. Um, I feel better. I look better at 44 than, than a lot of freaking 17 year olds. Okay. That's health. You're getting better. The more that you work out, the more that you train, the more that you have muscle. Okay. None of that is bad stuff. You're not doing anything bad to your body. So there never should be a point where you're like, I'm not going to do this anymore. You shouldn't just be doing this because of one specific weight loss goal. I've been there in the past, but you do kind of start to get reap the other rewards of like, I feel better. I have more energy. I, I, it's not about really, I'm not saying like, I'm trying to look like I'm 20 or anything like that, but I feel younger. I mean, when I tell people how old I am, they're constantly like, is your Botox yet? No, not yet, but I will. Um, so anyway, using when you have these disappointments because you're going to have these disappointments you're going to have these disappointments a lot okay it, it's all about how you you choose to get it in your mind and what you choose to do again look at it like a virus what am i going to do with this virus what is going to be my reaction to this virus because it's a choice no one's going to make that choice for you you know if you want to be happy if you want to be motivated you choose to be happy and motivated it's not something like Oh, I didn't take my motivation pill in a jar. <laughs> it doesn't work that way, okay? So take your failure, take your disappointment, and choose to do more and choose to get better. Now, that said, we're at four minutes. Now, I'm going to tell you guys what my major, major goals, especially because Michael and I talked about it a lot this week. 
because we were talking a lot about why the hell the scale went up four pounds. Um, and I just said, like I told you in, in one of my last videos, I've got my signs up all over my condo that say 135. That's my next milestone. I don't want to be reaching 135 when I when it's like the end of July, okay? So I want to work really hard and get to that milestone instead of watching the scale go the other way. Again, contextually, even though I'm happy with what's going on. So. One of the things that sadly I'm still having a challenge with personally, this is my problem, um, is it's, I still have a problem making myself go out, buy groceries, and, and do what <laughs> Michael is excellent at doing, which is taking Sunday, preparing enough food so that when I go to my refrigerator, um, I can say, okay, here's my meals. What, what I still tend to do is, I'll go, like last week, I made a turkey meatloaf, I made some fish. Um, then what happens is, and then I've got some stuff in the freezer, but you know, I tend to eat turkey meatloaf and then I'll run out of fish. And then I don't feel like I have time to make anything. So then pretty much I'm looking in there and I'm going, I'm gonna have turkey meatloaf, turkey meatloaf, turkey meatloaf, turkey meatloaf. So I'm having like not enough variety because I, you know, I don't go out, I don't make the stuff. Um, either that or sometimes then I'll, I'll go in there and I get a little cocky. You know, let's, you've got to be real with yourself. You're getting cocky when you've lost a certain amount of weight and you're like, I know what I'm eating, everything's fine. It's okay if I don't have turkey meatloaf this time and I just have some almonds. And, and that, that's the kind of stuff that I've done because I'm too lazy to have prepped all my meals or I won't have any vegetables, you know, so then I'm, you know, in the, and, and it just, it perpetuates this cycle of, not being prepared, not really, you think you're eating right, but then it ends up that I'm back in that phase of haven't eaten enough. And, and Michael is so much better than me. He does not leave the house without four meals packed, you know, so he's always ready. Several times over the past couple of weeks, I'll be on the phone and he's like, did you pack a couple of meals? I'm like, oh, I forgot, you know, I'm going over here to meet with Corey and then I have hot yoga and I'm meeting with Corey and I'd had lunch. My meeting with him was at four, so the last time I'd eaten was lunch, and then I'm getting ready to do 90 minutes of hot yoga. And so that day, do you know what I had in the afternoon? I had a gluten-free power bar, and, and because I knew I needed to eat something, but that's all he had there, which I took Corey's last gluten-free bar. Then I did hot yoga, and then I was so hungry afterwards. So then I'm having sushi at 9.30 at night, and, and I was so famished that I was eating probably a hell of a lot more sushi. I mean, that's just the kind of thing. Was I eating anything bad? Was I going to Burger King and getting, you know, a combo meal? No, but I was still giving myself way too much time. And even Corey said this, when we we're sitting down on his meeting, I said, I forgot to bring anything. And he goes, Kelly, I always make sure I have food that I eat throughout the day. I'm always eating throughout the day. And people that really are in the best shape know that you don't starve yourself. So. That still is a problem of mine that I don't, I'm not preparing enough and then I'm running around and it'll be six or seven hours. That can be just as detrimental. I know this. I don't necessarily understand the science behind it. I know enough to know if you are running around and working out and training as hard as I am, you can't just have, you know, like a protein pancake and then nothing for seven hours and then um, some salmon sashimi and that your body's going to accept that. That's, that's not enough. You have to have a system. And thus, <laughs> Michael had said he was going to really work with me every Sunday and we were going to prep food enough for the week so that I have my choices for the week. He does this every Sunday. It's kind of like a machine and I am not. So when I was at TJ Maxx yesterday, because I'm really enjoying going to Home Goods at TJ Maxx again, I got two sets. First I got, so this is four different, see these, how, much, how nicely they stack? That's two reasons. So you can store them the right way, but then also like store them in your cabinets the right way. I'm just gonna tell, one day we're gonna do a video at Michael's house so you could see his cabinets. I thought I was sleeping with the enemy neat. He puts my neat to shame and think about that. He's neater and cleaner than I am. It's a little bit disturbing in a, like a good way, like making me realize I need to get my cleaning people back here again. But see how it stacks nicely? So, and then I got this one, which has all these little containers. Can you see that? So, um, the biggest thing that we will be doing um, to take things up a notch 
is um, preparing my food and making sure. So again, when I open my kitchen, excuse me, when I open my kitchen, when I open my refrigerator, you know, I'll go, okay, here's, um, here's a piece of chicken, here's my broccoli, heat it up, go. Here's my tilapia, whatever, instead of going, oh, this is what happens. I'll open my fridge and I'm like, I've got tilapia and I've got turkey meatloaf. And that's what I've been seeing in there for like seven weeks. Um, there needs to be some variety in there and some prep. And so we're putting steps in place to make that happen. Um, so I'll have my products, I'll have my supplements. Um, you know, I've already gotten myself in the habit as far as, you know, in the mornings, which actually, since I just had my breakfast, I need to take these. This is what I do after my breakfast is have my, um, Physio burn and my um, probiotics. So I'm gonna, cause I'm realizing that I take these when there's food in my stomach. So let's do it since I just ate instead of when I have an empty stomach. Um, so that's gonna be the big thing is food prep. And then we are also going to, um, I think I've told you guys this before. I'm closing up on 11 minutes. Um, we're gonna really vary my cardio. Um, I tend to, again, like with food, when I really like something, I tend to keep going back to the same thing. So like I'll get Kathy's X-Train, her whole DVD set, and I try two videos and I love those two videos, and then that's all I do are those two videos. I don't even, I haven't even tried half the other ones. So, excuse me. Um, what we're going to do is, and I think I kind of just got the idea as I was working out this morning, I think what I'm gonna propose to him, but we'll write this all out and the, my other way of taking things up a notch is I will blog every single day. I'm committing to that again. I did that before, and I know now that since we're putting these processes in place, I can do it. So I will actually be able to tell you guys what I'm doing each day. But I think what I'm going to do is to ensure that I get, until it's warmer out, I, I want to do like a third of my cardio would be running. Um, we definitely want to have two to three sessions on the Stairmaster a week. And then the rest of that, um, I can divide between um, hot yoga and the cardio that I like with my, my DVDs at home. But I haven't been getting enough variety, so we want to make sure. And what I think I might do is get back to a system of Monday through Friday. Instead of doing my cardio here, go to the gym, do my running and or my stairs. Because I never have... Oh, I've gone to 12 minutes. I never really have issues um, doing my cardio at home. What I do have issues with is not wanting to go to the gym when it's really crowded at night. So I think we might be changing things up there. But better meal prep, better preparation. Um, that's what I just said. And then um, changing up the cardio, adding back intense um, weight training um, with a new plan and mixing that up a little bit. And that's it. We're going to see a lot more results in Q2. That is all.